be taken care of from the pterygoid implant. So we will go systematically starting from planning, PPT, palpation, use of C finder, tap on C finder, drill, osho tap, selection of wider diameter, selection of lesser diameter. If it doesn't work, open the flap. If it doesn't work, rescue protocol. Barabar hai? Clear okay. okay, madam. So, first step you want to plan for pterygoid. What's your first step? Treatment planning template. With that, you will get a tentative length, not a final length, a tentative length number one, and you will get a tentative start point. Very important. Sim length, nahi. length and start point for your pterygoid implant. Correct, madam. So, that's point number one. Point number two, sir. After TPT, what you will do? C no, Wrong. Palpation. No. Correct, sir. You? Palpation of, palpation of what? Amulet notch. And? Amulet of? Of the medial derivative. Perfect. Okay. Now I have palpated the amulet process of medial derivative plate. What is my tentative direction of putting the C finder? Posterior. Uh, Buccolingual, buccopalatal, distal and superior. Perfect. Okay. So, when my finger is at the amular process, I will take my C finder and I will put my C finder bucco to palatal, superior, distal till I get a point of resistance. After I get resistance, what I will do, madam? Sir, after getting the resistance, we'll uh, take out the seat. No, you will tap, tap on it. Tap. The we'll tap, tap will take away the pseudo resistance, which means there is a bone which is probably behaving like fusion zone, but it is not fusion zone. Wo nikal jayega. Wo nikal jane ke baad, when you tap, you will confirm with the noise and with the dead end resistance. Dead end matlab uske aage jai nahi sakte. It is confirming that now you are 100% in the fusion zone. Barabar hai. Ab kya karna hai, madam? Next step. Then we go with the first file, 1.8 osculture. Perfect. So you will drill with the 1.8 drill. First drill. First drill. The osculture. Nahin, nahin, after drill is osculture. One point. We are perfect, madam. So you will drill. Next step is to drill with the 1.8 mm drill from the impact R line kit at roughly 3 to 5,000 RPM using the straight hand piece. Focusing on the final 2 millimeter via the channel created from with the C finder. Am I correct? Now, when I pierce or I perforate the fusion zone, I look out for two things. One is the drill should come out with clean white bone. And secondly, there will be minimal bleeding from the osteotomy, which confirms that there is no unnecessary engagement of muscle. Mm. Barabare, fair enough. Uske baat ka point, madam. Next, what do no, you want? Perfect. Why? To see, to see the quality of the bone and we can and to judge the torque which we are getting. Perfect. Yes. So, to add on to this, so once I place the osteo tap, I am noticing multiple things. Mm -hmm. If the osteo tap is going in very tight, very tight, which means the quality of bone is very yes. good. So, most likely I will require 3.5 millimeter diameter from my impact R line series. However, if the quality of bone is poor, which means the osseo tap is going very loosely inside, I might need a wider diameter 5.5. If I am in confusion, I will pick up 5.5. Getting it? So, now, sir, you have picked up 5.5 diameter implant and you try to place it. Question to you, soch ke answer de na. It has gone till that region, but it is not able to enter your osteotomy. What does it mean? The quality of bone is so poor, not entering. It's not entering. So, quality of bone is? Uh, good. Good, very good, good. right? Good. So, either you can create more osteotomy or switch to? So, whenever I am in doubt, I will select wider. Right. क्योंकि अगर आपने 3.5 का लेके मेस कर दिया और बोन सॉफ्ट था तो गलती हो जाएगा लेकिन हार्ड बोन में आपने बड़ा डालने का कोशिश किया तो आपका ऑप्शन खुला रहता है तो वी नो व्हिच मिस्टेक टू मेक नाउ व्हेन यू पुट द प्लेस द इंप्लांट टू थिंग्स कैन हैपन आइदर यू विल गेट द इंप्लांट और यू विल नॉट गेट द इंप्लांट करेक्ट इफ आई डोंट गेट स्टेप टू व्हाट आई विल डू मैडम इफ वी डोंट प्रेस देन वी विल रेज द फ्लैप Correct. You raise the flap and you re-attempt all the steps which we have discussed. If we don't get in the second attempt also, what do you will do, sir? Rescue protocol. 
Perfect. What is that? Uh, that we will uh, just put uh, seven uh, diameter and fourteen, twelve or fourteen length. Uh, Right, engaging distal wall of sinus and distal wall of maxilla to get our distal anchorage. Okay, big clap for all of you. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so now you have step by step what you are doing. There is nothing else. There is nothing else. Now one activity for all of you. Uh, just put up yesterday's pre-op OPG. 